SAS Support Note 26173 actually has instructions on how to create a dynamically populated prompted filter in Web Report Studio 3.1. So what we'll do is we'll actually follow these instructions uh, line by line and see if we can uh, get the same results. In SAS Information Map Studio, all you need to do is add uh, the table in right click on the items you want to allow users to create dynamically populated filters go to permissions value generation select dynamically generate a list that contains all the data values and click OK and then click Save after you've selected the data in your new web report studio report you'll click the filter icon for that data element change the specify values option to prompting users to select values from a list and then create the user list by allowing users to query for values you will need to select a default value otherwise uh, there will be an error message Now when we select view report, you'll actually see the prompt and the default value that we selected. When we click the get values button, all of the uh, distinct values for product show up in the avail avail available values.